Back with Bobby and JG Radio, we're talking all about a local charter school called New Frontiers. We were with the CEO and superintendent, uh, Mr. Alfredo Segura, and the principal, Bobby's in Trouble, Mr. Ruben <laughs> Piscina. Um, so let's talk about your students uh, th- and how you're really creating this collegiate pathway for them. Let's talk about how you guys are doing that for, for these students right now. So as I, you know, I mentioned before, we actually are in a partnership with... Um, the National Accelerated Schools uh, Project. So we focus on, and and, and we talk about STAR, but when we talk to kids, we talk about how is this gonna impact your LSAT? How is this gonna impact your SAT? Mm -hmm. You know, what's it gonna look like when you actually take an MCAT? Um, We want our students to actually be not only just learners or readers for the STAR test, but we just want them to be good readers and this is the way good readers read so that they can be successful in college, successful in business, successful in life. Right. And I think that's one of the big things that we really focus on. Our balanced literacy project that we're starting uh, this year will focus on reading and writing across the curriculum uh, in ways that I know as an educator that has you know, been around 20 years in and around uh, public schools, uh, school districts, but, and also charter districts, we're just doing things just very differently because that's what needs to get done and focusing on college. You know, I think Texas, star, that's all you hear. Right. That's so the bar. That's the bar. You got to hop over it. And, 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 you know, the sad thing about it is that the bar is not set that high. No, I mean, if that's the bar, then, I mean, that's why you have, you know, these huge, you know, kids that are not making it in, in college. There's a lot of gaps. It's huge gaps, yeah. But you guys have so, this great partnership. So I'm sorry. So while they, you know, that happens at the elementary and, and the middle school, when they do get to the high school, that's when we actually start going into the full immersion model. Mm-hmm. And that's why we share that relationship with Palo Alto. Imagine this. So you have a 15, 16 year old in a college class with a non-traditional student who might be 19, might be 20, might be 30. Mm-hmm. And so it's a win-win situation because they get the practical uh, and the book knowledge off of that. Right. Yeah. So why do you feel this is such an important partnership that you guys have right now? Like, what have you what have you seen that's really like making a difference? Because so you're starting them young. You're right. starting them in. How, when do you let when me, do you let get? Let me tell you students? what the major difference is, and and how the impact that we've gotten thus far. Sure. So thus far, we have earned uh, our students have earned over 1,000 college credit hours, and we have saved our families over 150 thousand dollars in college expense so if you're serious about getting your uh, a college education then i would strongly suggest anybody who's listening to come to new frontier so we we talk about this all the time that tuitions have tripled since 2003 so just to have your kids have a head start and not have to pay for it in itself i feel is worth you know just the the price of admission if any which is zero so I think that in itself is probably something that, that you guys can really hold your so hand. So I, I think one of the things that, that comes, especially with, with my campus K-8, through eight, is that as I have parents coming in, that is what, that's the selling point. Oh, yeah. Because they've read it somewhere, they've seen it somewhere, um, are they're actually attending Palo Alto themselves, and they see that there's an actual campus, Frank Modla, and then they, they do some research and they figure out, okay, well, there's an actual elementary school, and I can put my kid into kindergarten, um, and we start talking about college and kindergarten. Wow. Yeah, I think that that's what's one of the major differences. Like we were talking in the green room, JJ has a son at Communications Arts, which is where I attended as well. And I know that whenever people graduate from New Frontiers, a charter school, they're getting a distinguished high school diploma and possibly an associate's degree, which is different than what they would be getting at somewhere like a magnet school like I did. 26 credits out of high school, but I didn't have a degree in hand, you know, so that's really exciting that you guys are able to offer that to your students. And one of the additions to that, uh, because there's been change in legislation, um, the the graduates will actually have multiple endorsements mm-hmm. uh, in, in, instead of the, um, uh, the multiple degrees. Give me an example of multiple endorsements. What do you mean? Um, so they could have an endorsement in, let's say, business. They can have one in I communications. Uh, so instead of having that distinguished, that is, you know, pretty narrow, mm-hmm. they've opened up that avenue to have endorsements. Oh, I got you. 
that's like a, a specialization or lots of specialization. minor in, exactly. in college. And so that's been part of the last legislation. And I love the way you put it. It's kind of like, where's your minor? Mm -hmm. But now they're doing that at high school, which is really awesome. That's really exciting. And how do you feel you prepare these students, these students for that, that immersion part? Because, I mean, you're K through 8. How are you guys preparing them to get into that immersion? So one of the things that, that we focus in on is actually um, – Riding across the curriculum, I think that that's one of the things that I know that I experienced going from high school to college was I wasn't prepared to write, which mm -hmm. is a, it's a very, um, I guess that's one of the most important things you can do when you, you're actually immersed, uh, immersed into college. Um, so we focus in on that. But the other thing is, is just, it's just a mindset, mm -hmm. right? So um, when our kids really transition into sixth grade, they realize that two or three years from now, I will be sitting in a college classroom. That's huge. That, that's tremendously huge. And I think one of the things that they focus in on is, okay, what can I do now to be prepared then? Right. Um, like I said, you know, got experience. I have experience in a lot of the schools in our surrounding community, you know, the community, the South Side community. And I just know that there's not that preparation in some of the middle schools. Um, and I don't think that students even look that far ahead. Um, no, they don't. I can and, promise you they don't. And, and, you know, our kids go into school with that mindset that when I get to Palo Alto, you know, that's what they call it. You know, when I get to Palo Alto, when I get to Madla, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to focus in on. And remember that guy that was here last year? And remember that guy who's on the basketball team? Remember that guy, that girl's <laughs> on the volleyball team? This is what they're doing now. Right. And it, it you know, tremendous benefit to our community. The mindset I can totally agree with. I can see how that's a huge game change. I think, you know, kids, they get to like sophomore, junior, and they're like, oh, wait, wait, someone mentioned SATs. I should start uh, looking into that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's huge. That's like a four year advantage. Now I'm kind of mad. For more information, <laughs> for more information about this awesome uh, charter school, you go to newfrontierscharter.org or get some info at, e or you can email them at info at newfrontierscharter.org or call them at 210 533 3655. We're going to take a quick break. Be right back. Mm -hmm. 